hello everyone and welcome welcome to today's video thank you so much for stopping by in today's video we're just gonna talk about powders as you can see i have a lot of powders in here i'm a lover of powder i have tried and i have finished and i have purchased and repurchased a lot of powders and i'm always looking for the best one i do have oily skin so keep that in mind um i always have to set up my makeup and i do find a lot of ways to use these powders i do have way too many but let's dive into it and see um, what's going on and what do I have in here. So if you're up for that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because there's more stuff to come. All right, let's get in. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is All Nighter from Auburn Decay. I actually am very close to finish this one. I used it quite a lot this summer and I really do enjoy it. I'm so excited to uh, see such a huge pan in this one and I'm really excited to probably put this one in um, a 2021 finish those uh, finish those products you know what I mean because I would have to say um, this will definitely go in there and will look really nice and I really do enjoy this one this is all night a waterproof setting powder and I think this one i don't remember if it was like translucent or it's colored i don't have the number on it but yeah really really enjoyed this one next in here another big pan which i absolutely love to see in this press powders this is from revolution pro this was from the the cc cream perfection press powder right there um and i have mine in warm maple and look how big of a pan i have in that one as well i'm so excited to finish this one too hopefully in 2021 i will be able to take care of that um definitely love to use this for more like a light uh, powder day you know for those days when I just want to feel a little bit more natural looking this is the powder that I go for and definitely I have to have some sort of a foundation that is just a little bit darker so this powder can go on it really nice because this is a lighter than my skin tone so usually that's what I do if I have a brown um, if I have a foundation that is a little bit darker I usually go with a lighter powder to correct that uh, color so this is really nice as well I did enjoy it like I said this is more like a hydrating powder than uh, setting powder now another one that I do have that I did hit pan in it and this is again a very more like a hydrating powder as well this is a darker shade for me and I have to use it in combination with a lighter foundation um, but I have to say I did use it a lot because I did had it in one of my um, project pan, not project pan, I had it in my shop my stash so I obligated myself to use it just that. But if it would be to choose it, not necessarily, I don't think I would necessarily love, um, love this. Uh, I'm glad I was able to use it this much. I don't know if I will... Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this one in finish that project next year, but I'm glad I got this much use out of it. So this is from Winky Lux, um, Winky Lux Diamond Powder, and this is in medium deep. Next in here, uh, I have from the Balm Sexy Mama, and this is how this one looks like i do have some, a big dent in there and that's because again i did put this one in uh shop my stash and i did do two three shop my stash two that i filmed one i didn't but i stopped doing them for a while because i really wanted to get into the next year with trying to um come up with some better better ways of showcasing my uh, makeup um, collection and you will see some new stuff coming soon so I'm not gonna talk too much about that but this is yeah this is in sexy mama from the bomb 
Um, I don't know about this powder. I do like it and I don't like it. Um, it's kind of tricky because it doesn't necessarily set your skin. It doesn't set your makeup that much, but also it's not quite hydrating. I don't know. It's kind of a more of an interesting formula. I did not... I can't tell you that I enjoy it much, but I can't tell you that I hate it. It's kind of somewhere in between, you know? So this one is from The Balm. Now two different powders. I mean two of the same powders, but in different shades. I have um, Fit Me from Maybelline. Uh, and I have one in 25 medium and one in 20. I usually use this one for my under eyes. And I usually use this one for setting my entire face. Um, I think I've used more... I think I've used more than half of them. If you can look on the bottom over here, let me see. Let me set them. Um, I think you could see through it a little bit, but I I used a little bit more than half in both of them, so I'm excited. Uh, there's a lot of product in these two, so and I had them for quite a while. Uh, maybe not more than a year. I don't think I got them. I had them more than a year. But this, this is definitely a lot of product in here and I'm glad to see that I used it that much. You know what I mean? So I do like them, I do enjoy them. Um, I don't like them during the winter because they do have more like a drying effect. So I definitely use this more in the summer than winter. Alright, next, uh, I have Charlotte Tilbury, of course, I got this one recently, this is the magic powder under the eye and face, and this is, says it's a fair or medium, um, this one I do like, I only got it for a few weeks now, a week and a half too, I, I would say, um, I do like it, it's a lot of product in, it's a lot of product in this one as well, um, but, I'm glad to have it. I do like it a lot to put it under my eyes. So I'm excited to have this one. Next thing here, <laughs> there's two, actually three. There's three, uh, <laughs> three ones that I bought and never tried. I know, I know, oh, what the heck, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I have this one right here from Lawless that is called Seal the Deal and it is in a it's a mini and i did bought this one um i think like two months ago or so never tried it uh because i want to start i want to use some of the other products first before i actually open these ones you know and lawless beauty i heard it's really nice for uh setting your under eyes and i think i got this one in translucent kia so I'm definitely gonna give this a go and see how it is in 2021, but so far I have not opened it. Next one that is in the same position is this one from Laura Mercier. I heard a lot of people talking about this one and I bought it in a mini as well. And um, this one is again, is translucent. And this one is a loose setting powder. Same thing, I wanna try it for my under eyes, but also maybe setting my entire face with it. We'll see how light it is. But so far, I have not opened it yet. Next on the list, it is this one from Cover FX. This one actually bought it quite a while ago, actually. It was a, a Ulta 20, 21 Days of Beauty. That's when I bought it. Um, I It was just a very good price on it. So I was like, I want to try it. I want to see how it is. So I did uh, end up uh, purchasing it. And this one, it is um, Perfect Setting Powder. And I think this one is in Translucent. Yeah, so this one is in Translucent as well. Now, next in here, uh, let's see, I have this one that is from Dermablend, and this one is the Professional Illuminating um, Banana Powder. I really, I had a 
mm, Dermablend powder before, but it wasn't the banana one, it was the other one. And I really, really love that one. And when I went into the store, <laughs> I saw this one, I was like, oh, I love the other one. I should give this one a try and see how it is. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it too. Not, I don't love it as much. Um, so that's why I'm not that drawn to it to actually play with it. But I did use quite a lot too. I think I used maybe half. I think I used like maybe half of it over there. And I do want to use it a little bit more. So I'm definitely going to try to incorporate this one more in my looks in the next year. Next in here, we have uh, Seattle, Seattle, London. Um, uh, this powder, it is interesting. Everyday Vacay, it's cold. It's very, very light um, and supposed to be translucent, but it's so white. Um, and it's, I don't know. I It's a little bit drying for my liking, I would say. Um, I did use it a little bit this summer to set up my nose, but I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna continue to do that a little bit more, but definitely this is not one of my favorite powders. Next in here we have Burst Bees Mattifying Powder uh, with Bamboo, and this one it is in uh, Sand. And I don't know, man. It's I tried it a few times. It is very light, <laughs> considering that it's sand. That is a very light powder. Um, I just don't know. I when I tried to set my foundation with it, didn't quite set it the way I usually like to have my makeup set. Um, and it my makeup did not stay set for a long time i would say maybe give it three hours so at uh, this one maybe i should try to put it under the eyes and see but yeah it's not it's not that mattifying how they say next in here i have one of these uh becca under the eye um setting under the eye brightening setting powder i only have a very a little left in here hopefully you can see how much it is left uh not much going on in there but i'm definitely gonna try to use this one out it's it's a little bit uh drying for my under eyes but i'm gonna continue to use it off for sure uh next in here is one of my favorite powders at the time this is hourglass and this is um translucent setting powder veil translucent setting powder uh have it in a mini i absolutely love this one i have played with it quite a lot i think it's kind of like half of it already um and I didn't bought it that long ago. I think I had it for like two or three months or so. But this is my favorite powder at the time. Um, another really beautiful powder. This is from Afro Cosmetics. And this is the banana powder. I recently played with it. And I really love it for my under eyes. After I set my eyes. I like to go with this one to bring a little bit more color into it, especially if I, the translucent setting powder was too white for my under eyes. I lose a little bit more color under my eyes uh, and I don't look like a ghost under my eyes anymore. So yeah, this I really, really enjoy. Uh, next one in here, I have this one from Makeup Forever. I have a, very, a darker shade in here and I have to use it in combination with more of a lighter foundation. I do not like to use this as a foundation. I, I like to use it as a setting powder. Um, I had it for quite a while. I had it around a year now and I haven't used it that much and I have another one that it's a little bit of a shade, uh, shade darker I think it is. Um, but yeah, uh, they're okay. They're not that great how they're saying. Uh, but they're they're okay Next in here. I do have this one from juice beauty. This is the organic Solutions and it's called a light diffusing dust 
in 14 sand and this one I actually did play with it quite a lot as well um, I had it for a little bit longer but this one is just a little bit orange orangey for my liking so a lot of times I do have to go in with a very light foundation um, if I have some like that and uh, I did had some this year but yeah this is more in the orangey shade I think I yeah I use way more than half of it so I'm glad about that one definitely gonna try to use that up next in here I have this one from Tarte which I use quite a lot I only have very few left to be seen there this is a mini but I'm excited to see such a big progress on it because I only had this one for a few months um, and this one it is Shape Tape Setting Powder I really enjoyed putting this one under my eyes to set my under eyes and also set my nose um, the last thing in here that I have for powder is this one KKW and this one is a really nice brightening powder but very very difficult to open it and here you go it's really beautiful I usually like to use this kind of like a highlighter when I don't want to use a sparkly highlighter so this is very nice very brightening very beautiful um, one of the best purchases I would say from KKW love it and so these are all my uh, powders you guys let me know down below which powders you have loved this um, year which ones you have your eyes on for the next year which one would you like to put in your um, project pan or maybe finish that powder type of project uh, let me know down below about that thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching this today and I will see you all in the next one Bye.